Just a three minute video with Genevieve reading your book and the dogs playing nicely in the background for your entertainment. Take it away, Genevieve. Skillfully navigating the swirling winds, the eagles powered their way up and over the peak in front of them, both tucked into a screaming dive, staying tight against the other side of the great mountain. The eagles separately found somewhere safe to perch and scanned the mountainside for the back entrance to the painted cave. Tuiye's quick thinking and willingness to act allowed them to get to the other side before the sun fully set. Elka was squinting up at the great mountain, trying to see past the wall of snow pelting her beak, and she noticed something sparkle in the darkness created by the blizzard. Her eyes could not find it a second time, and panic set in. Tuiye, I think I saw it. There was something bright just above us, she shouted. Look for a light. I think the sun is shining straight through the mountain. The painted cave must run the entire length of the peak. I lost it in the blizzard, but I know I saw something shiny, explained Elka. I think I saw it too. Follow me, he shouted back as he took flight. The two eagles quickly spotted an opening that could be the back entrance to the painted cave and landed nearby. Tuiye motioned to Elka to wait there while he flew up to look inside. With the dying moments of the sunsets, sunset still shining through the long cave, Tuiye landed inside and quickly took stock of his surroundings. Giving his eyes a moment to adjust to the dark, he listened for, for sounds beyond the howling winds outside. He could hear rushing water and concluded there must be a waterfall running somewhere through the cave. As he moved further into the cave, sounds from the waterfall grew louder and his eyes focused on images painted along the walls of the cave. The roar of the water relaxed him as he focused on the paintings in front of him. Many of the paintings had familiar images and even the makings of stories he remembered from childhood. He saw images of Turtle Island and the story of the Great Spirit and other familiar legends he had heard in the lookout with Olo and stories from the Siptak Fire Council. While he did not remember all the stories, he saw so many familiar images with eagles, his friends and other birds, animals and fish he knew from the lands. There were images of humans interwoven throughout each painting, standing next to the wolf in each story. There were some paintings of every different, <clears throat> of every different living thing interwoven into the same circle. As he kept walking deeper into the cave, he came upon a very familiar image that he had seen before on the parchment in his pack. Were you ever gonna come out and tell me you found the cave? Asked Elka, startling Tuie as he was embarrassed that he had forgotten her. I'm sorry, I was distracted by all the pictures and they kept drawing me further into the cave. Each one looked more familiar until I saw this. And he pointed to